welcome back to another Archicad speed modding quick coffee tip. I like to show you a quick um, seed sort of seed cutout through a concrete uh, concrete wall. So let's see. I'm starting here with a just simple shape of a polygon, and I will take a wall here. A wall is four meters high. I put them on a wood wood material furniture layer, and I just draw a wall around this polygon shape miss this one to make sure you will suspend groups so that you can't move it oops not sure that works but let's do this again oh yeah it does work all right cool, cool. so i got this okay let's see what we got here in 3d so okay just simple the walls for now Next bit is I add some nice columns, which I put on 90, I again four meters long wood material, keep it on furniture. All right, let's just place one here. See the corner here? So I place that exactly there. Now I want a small shadow gap for my model. So I drag this up to Y5. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna spread them along here. So you take this and we go spread. I want space in 95 because it's 90 by 90. And again, I want a five mil gap. So 95 will do. You gotta pick it by path and you gotta rotate it to the path. All right, let's go here. To maybe zoom out, you can see that's the path I'm picking. Okay, and then you gotta click again where you start there. There you go. So you can go all the way around and you have this for now. Okay. Now you can see that at the corners, obviously, you know, it's not totally worked out. So if you want to refine this, each corner, I'll show you a quick, quick tip. So it doesn't have to be the double Mickey. So what I do is, you take this suspend groups and you can just stretch this as example to there. All right, so that's the first corner I would um, I would fix. So if I now select all my columns and I keep this one, and then you just do the same thing again. Okay, you spread it, everything is still the same. Okay, pick the path, there you go. And we start here. And now as you can see, it's going there a lot better through the corner. Now, I'm not fixing this up for everything in this tutorial, but that's the way you can do it to make it look really nice around it. Okay, so now, as I said, we got this now. To fix them up a little bit, what I do is now to show you, we just pretty much delete what we don't need, okay? and. In here, as example, all you have to do is you take a slab and again, same material. We put this on wood one and furniture. That's a whole, the whole seat I want on the same um, layer. Let's make this four, so the others starting down. So it has to go down. No, it has to go up, I think. Up, up, up is better. So. So all you have to do is now you go there and in this case you just draw along here, okay? All right, so that's done. So now I can pretty much take those ones, delete them, you know, and you can really adjust it nicely if you want to. And let's have a look in 3D. Okay, so it's all good. This corner looks really nice here. So I just do the other ones quickly. Okay, so I've done this like this. You can even if you want, then obviously you could say, oh, let's just split this one, you know, that way. And you can still do this five mil gap if you want to all the way around. It's quite easy. Again, you just split which way. Let's go this way. 
and we move this by five. Okay, so this was example I want now to, um, with the marquee tool, I want to really make this nice and fit there. Okay, so you got this, let's have a quick look. All right, that's my seat almost ready. So what I will do now is I take this one and I copy one, and then we have to convert this to more. So if you select everything, because they're different tools, and you can see I can't see the convert to morph option. So you have to just take all the walls first as example. And then you can see this comes up. Okay. There you go. And we take the marquee tool because I only want those um, columns, not the ones down here. Select all and again we convert selection to morph. And let's just do the same with the slabs. Convert to morph, there we go. Very nice, looking good. So, take it all and regroup this, move it onto here. And then obviously we can go in the section and we have this one to turn now. So, to make this easier, turning it in section, let's turn it here first and section, there we go, because now I can, um, oops, I can now rotate this here, beautiful, and we rotate it back down here, let's go this way, okay, that's looking good I think, let's have a quick look, there you go, now I want this a little bit higher, so let's just take this, it's still connected, and we move this up by, let's make it 300, drag Y 300. Okay, this is good. So if I go to my 3D now, oops, go back. Yeah, I need my marquee tool now, so keep this one for now. And we go and have a look. So what you can see here now is, our seat. So the next bit is we need to have that wall and we cut that out. Okay, let's draw our wall. I leave it for now at four meters and make it concrete and I just will this put this on walls external and the length let's make it no thickness this is the thickness six six okay just draw it from here to here. Okay, let's move this then to there. Actually, you know what? Just make it four like the other one. It has to interfere, obviously. Okay, great. So now we need to cut this out. Seeing that in 3D, you will see. There you go. That's our concrete wall. Now we could just cut it out with this, but it won't work because you want to walk through here. So you have to do another shape and I do this in section and I use the morph tool, use this one. So I want to cut out walking through here and obviously where I want to sit. So let's just start drawing this nicely around. Okay, and we go down all the way not quite all the way, sorry, I want to just have this step in there. Alright, so that's our morph, um, morph uh, piece shape I use to cut out. Now, if you like to have a shadow gap again, which I usually do, let's make it 10 mil. So we take this and just move that out by, you know, extend it by 10 all the way around. Okay, so. Let's go there and do 10. Perfect. So let's go back into 3D. There you go. So you got the morph tool. Uh, sorry, the morph shape. And now obviously you just have to stretch it all the way through. Doesn't really matter, just make it long enough. And 
we can start doing the SEO. So I got this still on, but don't worry about that for now. I just kept this in case you want to change later your design. So I usually keep this, move this on another layer, and then I can keep changing it around. So let's go and do our SEO. There we go. So target elements, I will have this one. Operator, this one, and I just normally subtract execute and we will take this and move this on to a cutting layer which I don't have in this file all right you know what just move it on to the drawing file which is turned off there we go so click my key tool it's a bit easy to look at so you move around and as you can see you have nicely cut out your little seat through a concrete wall with shadow gaps looks pretty cool all right i hope you enjoyed this little quick coffee tip and you'll be back next time okay bye for now